Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to RimWorld in our ideology playthrough. Our settlement is finally just humming along. Maybe, maybe uh, Crawford here will decide to join us permanently and then we can have a full-time researcher forever. Not going to count on that, though, as nice as that would be. Uh, we need to make some more beds, most likely. And is there any more wood we can uh, harvest around here? There is. But as always, there's, uh, you know, a general dearth of supplies with this sort of thing. So we gotta be prepared to eventually start running caravans. Also, let's uh, just refresh ourselves on what's going on here. We've got the Lost Drifters. We are helping right now. We're hosting an ally. We have the excavation, which if we load into the world, we can go check out right now. Well, that's not that far away, and since we're actually on a ancient asphalt road, it should be a breeze to get down there. Hopefully. That's the dream, anyway, and we also now have cattle. That's a, That's never a big win for us. What are you whining about now? Oh my god. Alright, maybe... Maybe I'm being a little, uh... A little unfair here. Though if this person leaves, which they will eventually, of course... Uh, when do you leave, anyway? 4.8 days, so it's still gonna be a while. And if we look at this... Yeah, if we can keep this up to 63, or... I think it's just, yeah, it's above 50. So, that's pretty good. And we'll get a bionic leg, but of course, as we found out... Yeah, you're a body purist. You get a plus one, but you got a minus ten, so you're gonna be miserable for your entire life. Though, the crazy thing is, I'm pretty sure there would have been a bigger negative- Oh my god, it's the freaking boomalope again. Where are you? You know what? Forget about that, my friend. We gotta take care of this boomlope once and for all. I'm gonna have you get over here. You'll fight fires, I, I think. At least if I have you stand next to a fire. Or did they change that? That was changed, wasn't it? Anyway, let's, uh... You are... Oh, for the love of... <laughs> you, it is okay to approach the boomlope. Okay, it is running away. Yes, yes, there you go. Now let's make sure it keeps running away as we continue to kill it. I tr- I tr- There we go. Get some every time. Oh, and what do you know? Just in time to get some more meat. Got our nice fine meals, which give... a slight mood boost. Five? What is it for lavish? Is it ten? I actually forget, but... <laughs> one can hope that... Everything will continue to, to hold up. You know, it's kind of good you're working on this one. It's going to make you jealous, of course, but, uh, you know. One's got to do what one's got to do, I guess. Do I really need... Yeah, it is getting kind of cold out there. I think even 18 might be too cold. Okay, there's our drug production. Uh, what do we want to research next? Maybe beer brewing? Now nah, let's go with, go with smithing. Though, truthfully, with this playthrough, I don't really know if I want to do that much research. You son of a... Do I dare just get them to fight each other? Will this automatically ruin, uh... Don't do it. I mean, how fast could he destroy this anyway? Or the heck's Na uh, Nicholas? Nicholas, get down there. Uh, no. I want you to attack. Why, why will you not do your job? Come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that'll learn you a lesson. 
The dog gun idiot. Dog gun, dog gun. Yeah. You're an idiot. That's that's the moral of the story. Alright, so what do we got here again? Nine. Yeah, so we'll kinda I don't know, I kinda like that. Maybe I could have put a gap between them, but let's uh let's not do that. Let's not and say we did. And we'll stick a little steel door in there. And I guess probably should be making steel furniture, shouldn't we? Seeing as that's a little more a somewhat easier to acquire res uh, resource. All right, and Rat, when you are done, I'm so happy things are finally seemingly working out for us. I guess I could buy some meat. Just to uh, keep things going. Could buy a donkey as well. You know, I've noticed it's only 130 and 160 for uh, caravan speed. There's not a lot of variety there. Not even in mods, at least not yet. Uh, do I want to really sell this stuff? I mean, there's probably enough to actually <coughs> get something, but... Uh, you know. We shall, uh... Alright, yeah, that's probably good enough. I do kind of want to buy some some meat just to keep us going. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. We're just going to very slowly acquire wealth. Very slowly, mind you. Celebration of promises. This is due. Goodwill. I mean, leader present. Oh, yeah, I haven't assigned anyone to, as leader, have I? So that's a, a little bit of a, a roadblock there. Though according to this, uh, there is no impressiveness bonus, so maybe maybe we don't need to worry so much there. Huzzah, I guess. Oh, maybe I should be raising ducks. I wonder if... Well, they don't produce eggs nearly as quickly, so maybe they're not as good as... Uh, and milk counts as meat, I believe, as far as meat products are concerned. I might be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. But you can haul that milk. Take care of stuff for us. And so far, I mean... Chili. Chili. Now it is actually only 20 in here. Is that going to give you a slept in the cold modifier? No, because chili's gone away now, so you're probably okay. All right, Jones is back on his feet. Good man. Now, how do you all feel about your barracks now? Still awful. Still awful. How is it still awful? No, it's very dirty. I guess that... You'll never clean. You're incapable of manipulation right now. All right. Really? All this flooring did nothing? Ah, the wooden floor is zero. I'm a fool. I'm a damn fool. All right. Save the wood for more important things then. In fact, uh, let's try to... I should have known better. I'll have to give them, like, nice stone floors or something. Ah, that really grinds my gears right there. You know what? You can just lie there. You will lie there and you will like it. And you know what? I guess we'll uh, go back to maybe a wooden bed. That's it? Oh my god, where did all my wood go? <laughs> did I truly just... Oh, boy. Moral of this story is that I take wood for granted. What a shame. Anyway, uh, moving on. And we do have some sandstone blocks, but are those impressive at all? 
these at least give us a plus one? They do. Alright, so I could go with that. What about hex tiles? Aha! Alright, there we go. Steel is a... considerably more common resource. And I'll just kind of leave that for now. Hmm. Alright, so we need lots of cotton. Lots of cotton and... Yeah, it's just gonna be... That's just gonna be a thing for a while. Ah, what a world. You're not gonna die, are you? He does have some hypothermia, so we might want to consider putting some power in there. Uh, run that up there. But yeah, having the power on the inner side probably makes the most sense. I'm gonna have to destroy this tree at some point. Or do I? No, I can't move anima trees. But I know there was a update at some point recently that has apparently allowed you to, to move trees. Wait, you can ride dromedaries, can't you? Ah, but not at the speed that I would like to see. Oh well, at least it's a source of meat, if nothing else. Really? You just left- you chopped the wood and you're just leaving it lying here? God, I hate these idiot pawns sometimes. I really do. Oh, for the love of all that is good and holy. There's just no winning with these people. You only hauled 15 wood. Okay, get out. Get out there and help uh, Nicholas, this dromedary. Oh, actually, he might. Nicholas might be able to take it by himself, but let's let's not risk that. Yeah, Nicholas. Oh my God, his toe has been bitten off. There we go. Really good. All right, we want to give the leg to Brad, and we need a new kidney. Can you haul? See, is that is that a possibility? No, and you're not allowed outside. Right, because he's like old, worn out people. My god. There is truly, truly, truly no winning. Uh, but, you know, that's life. Gotta roll with the... Oh, no, he's up. Gonna, He's gonna go right back down again, though. I know it. I know it's gonna happen. Oh, boy. Oh, well. Oh, well. We're, we're holding in there. We actually produced a pretty nice amount of fine meals. Oh, I like that. Don't like that the dog is eating them, but I don't think there's really much I can do about that. Is there? The answer is no. What is this? An outlander of South Len Lenlia has learned that Jones and another refugee are being hosted. He is enemies with Jones and wants to see him dead. Huh. That's new, I think. Never had that opportunity before. So we could betray them. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna do that because I'm not... I'm not a bad guy. Not today. Uh, Nicholas, if you don't mind building power there, that'd be nice. Okay, we get two wood, so that's it's not terrible. It's not great, though. At least we're not relying on wood for anything but beds. So, you know, that's a, a small win. And you gotta take those little victories where you can find them. I think I'm just gonna kind of keep planting these over here. We're not gonna do anything with them because... 
from what I can tell with these trees, they take like 10 million years to prune. Which... I mean, I assume there's a balancing reason for that, but it, it just seems kind of stupid to me. <laughs> that it takes like 5 to 10 hours a day. Which basically means that whoever is pruning a tree, just a singular tree, is not doing anything else that day. That's even more crazy than, you know, meditating at anima trees. I mean, those can- anima trees can take a while, but, you know, it's not normally that terrible. So, yeah. You know what, how'd you clean up some of the blood around here? Blood and vomit. It's not gonna make the place look nicer. But, uh, you know, it's... It's something. Now just, uh, make the place a little more pleasant, so that we don't have all this, uh, vomiting and stuff. It's just, it's just terrible. And we've got blood and vomit, though you'd figure, oh, or wait, I was gonna say, you'd figure the rain would take care of this, but then again, when's the last time it's actually rained in this godforsaken hell pit? But I know, I, I chose this life. This is, uh... A hell of my own creation. I might as well just kill all the dromedaries now. We could use the meat. I mean, eh, bleh, maybe it's not the best idea, but we'll see how it plays out. We'll let it ride. Maybe I sh no, no, it still would take a lot of carpeting to make fancy carpets. Truly, I'm not, I'm not really sure exactly what I'm hoping to accomplish with this playthrough at this point. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of there. I mean, at least we're we're in a state of uh, equilibrium. Still have not finished that, Nicholas. Why did you? Oh, you never finished. You didn't even finish putting these in. Come on. Sometimes. Finish the... Finish the damn power, man. Is it done? It is not done. I'm kind of... It's kind of curious to me that... Like, when these are in progress, they're now invisible. Do I really want you doing that? You're only a construction too, but then again, you probably won't lose too much. There we go. I'll just reinstall that over there. Clean up all the dirt. You're not dying, are you, by the way? I... Oh good, you... I wasn't even paying attention. All right, it's merely dull, no longer awful, so that's uh, a slight improvement. And again, we need to find a psychically deaf person to chop this tree down. Though, of course, the uh, the smart thing to do, get everyone, all but one person off the map. One person ideally being someone who is psychically deaf, or at least dull. You chop the tree, then... Then, uh, yeah. Minimize the damage. I guess I need someone to do some full-time work making bricks, don't I? If only you were willing to do work. Wait, did you finish your research already? You did. And Crawford cannot craft. Oh wait, yes you can. Crawford, craft me some... Some blocks. I mean, maybe maybe we'll get Devil Strand in there. Or try to. Well, tree sowing wouldn't be bad either. We can find a... Yeah, we could build some trees outside the walls here. I am sort of wondering if maybe I should have had a door down here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna choose to believe that I have made the right decisions. Even if that's not strictly true. Okay, you're making that, you're meditating. Can we, like, haul some of this wood? 
There's not a lot, but there is enough for us to actually get stuff done. So we might as well... I hate having to micromanage these things, but then again, if I uh, did more of the hauling... I mean, I guess if I just made hauling and cleaning one priorities for everyone, then everyone would just do it all the time. Alright, this might be my chance to actually gather all the wood. I think she's capable of hauling, there we go, the whole thing in one stack. Who left this here? Nick Nicholas. 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 Oh, there's no place to store it. Right. Oh, right, and the whole reason for researching drugs was so we could make a drug lab. Which, in turn, we could use to make smoke leaf and also, like, medicine medicine. Oh, yeah, nails. Do you mind, uh... You know what? That's it. I'm getting tired of having... living in this horrible, filthy place. We're gonna make cleaning and hauling a top priority. So we get those jobs done first, and then we... And then we, yeah, get everything done. Actually, I'm gonna... Gonna clear Rat of at least the uh, cleaning bit. Because cleaning is probably gonna take a lot of time. I wanna make sure that... Uh, hello? Jones, you can... What are you whining about? You're always whining about something. My god, what is your problem? Oh, boo-hoo. You know what? You've got a problem. Here. Fine. You can sleep on the floor in here. There you go. Stop whining. Be happy. There you go. I mean, he's still gonna have this for a while, but, uh... Oh, and this... Well, I guess... Yeah, he is. Oh, thank god you're leaving. That better not be one of my package survival meals. You know what? Leave that weapon behind. That's mine now. Not worth, uh, the general, uh, lack of... Oh god, no. We did get a bionic leg, though. Okay, when you're done, haul that inside. And we'll have to queue up getting Rat's, uh, leg installed. Oh, and Jones has gone down. Surprise, surprise. Yep. He can't handle his pot at his advanced age. Poor guy. Alright then, let's go ahead and copy-paste these in here. Actually, can I make medicine? I can't make medicine yet, that's not a thing. Get rid of that. Alright, other than that, everything is working out pretty nicely, so I am a happy man. That is going to be very unfortunate. Yeah, just, just pass out. I mean, awful bedroom. My god, I kind of forgot how, uh... In vanilla... My god, the expectations for a bedroom. Ridiculous. I mean, this is only somewhat spacious. Like, if we assume each of these is a meter, this is like what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven by seven. How many meters is that? You, I don't, don't. Forty-nine meters squared. That's, that's, that's pretty, pretty big. I think. Forty-nine meters. That feels like a lot. I mean, 49 meters, that's, uh, like, that's, that's like twice the length of a, of a large-ish great white shark. What is the average of a great white shark? Let's look that up as we wrap this episode up. What is the average size of a great white shark? What do we got? Oh, wait. Oh. Maybe I was thinking feet. Four to six meters. Oh, that, okay, never mind. So that you could fit several great white sharks, tail to tail, inside, uh... Wait, what about a blue whale? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Blue whale. Is a blue whale 49 meters? Oh wait, no, I'm an idiot. I, I just realized I was taking the, the cubed, or the squared space of the room. Never mind, I'm an idiot. But still, you could fit a great white shark head to tail 
in each direction of this room. And I, I don't know about you, but I would not want to be in a room with two great white sharks spread tail or nose to tail. That would be scary. Well, I mean, if they were alive anyway, they'd be just thrashing around all freaked out. It's like, hey, where's the water? Wouldn't be good, is what I'm saying. Why did I think great whites were 20 meters long? Is that a thing they can get to? Probably not. Maybe that's the Megalodon. That was 20 meters. In any case, you know, there's lots of room in here, is what I'm trying to say. Like, I, I feel like this is more the size of a dining room. Or is it? Maybe I'm just bad at visualizing space. Maybe my own bedroom is bigger than this. But then again, I guess that means comparing it to the relative size of the map. Anyway, I'm, you know what? I'm overthinking things. Let's wrap this episode up. Until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I'll see all you in the next video.